Back on our show, it's great to have Renee Baffalis with us. She is with uh, FEMA, and she has responded to all the flooding here in Louisiana. At least FEMA has. Well, we're trying to. We're trying to get out to as many communities as we can. We still have damage assessments going on and yep, throughout the state. Okay, and there have been more parishes added to the... Uh, what disaster list to the federal now. declaration? Yes, we have 26 now. We had three more added yesterday: Allen, Ascension, and Kakachu. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So they, those have been added to this, you know, to the list. So that's expanding as as the day goes on. Who are you talking to? Who is FEMA talking to today? What do you want these folks to know? Well, what we want to do is make sure that we get folks registered. Mm -hmm. That is the biggest step in the process. It starts your initial uh, phase into recovery. Okay. So we can do that. Um, by calling the 1-800-621-3362 number, mm -hmm. or you can go online to www.disasterassistance.gov and register. And how quickly is FEMA going to respond? Well, we're responding as, as quickly as we can. We have once you register with us, you have a, a, we have an inspector come out to your your home. Okay. If that home is still underwater, it's virtually impossible for our inspectors to go through. So in the areas where we have access, the inspectors are coming out right away. But in areas that are still underwater, it will take a little while before that happens. And then what happens after that home is inspected by the FEMA? Once the home is inspected, the information is documented and it's moved forward into uh, the FEMA process into our individual assistance program. They will review the information and uh, as, as things move forward, they will follow up with uh, the resident to make sure that they're, you know, in the process and they're doing, moving forward. We are, we have also opened registration sites mm -hmm. in uh, Grant Parish so that folks that may not be in their homes that we can't access through our disaster survivor assistance teams that are in the field, um, they can come to those locations. We have one in Georgetown, one in uh, Pollock, and, and one in, in Colfax. Renee, right. what, uh, what information? do people need to bring when they register with FEMA? They need, first of all, to uh, provide a social security number, mm -hmm. the address of the property where your home was damaged, uh, the information concerning what the damages were, um, a telephone number where you can be reached, uh, an address where you might be able to receive mail if you've had to leave your home. Right. Um, and if you uh, do get assistance from us, uh, we would need a bank account if you want that money deposited directly into your account or it could be mailed to okay. you. And what type of assistance? I mean, how much money? Is it just per home? It depends. Every situation need? is different. It depends on uh, if you had insurance and it, we can't duplicate what your insurance may cover. So any unmet needs or underinsured uh, uh, damages that you may have had, we might be able to, to help you with. Um, so those are the types of things, home repairs, temporary housing, that type of thing. What about renters? I'm sure we have renters, a lot of renters homeowners, in the area. Renters, uh, homeowners, both are eligible for this type of, of, of assistance. But we also want to tell folks, even if you're not in one of those 26 parishes mm -hmm. and you have damages, we are still doing assessments. So please go ahead, register with us, and let's see what those areas come online as well. Um, you've seen a lot of disasters. Mm -hmm. um, how does this one compare? How severe uh, is the flooding around Louisiana that you've seen so far? You know, every disaster is different, mm -hmm. and if you're affected, it's horrible. Yeah, that's so, right. Exactly. So it's hard to compare on things level. on a personal level. Everybody uh, feels, you know, that uh, this is obviously very severe. Mm -hmm. And it's not only happening in Louisiana. No, it's got several states involved, and you've got more rain coming. So. That's right. You said it was only March. We're in a new year, and right. it's only March. March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scary. Okay, for more information on what folks need, website, again, phone numbers. Again, 1-800-621-FEMA, it's 1-800-621-3362, or go online to www.disasterassistance.gov. Thank you. How long will the FEMA be here? We will be here until all the needs are met. All right, Renee, thanks for coming. I'm sure you got a busy weekend ahead of you. We do. Thank you so much for having us. More to come on our show this Friday morning. Stick around. <laughs>